<laughs> this, is, uh, this is a really fun week for me because I get to see a lot of the members uh, that are here, our members, DG360 members, playing the game, which is great. So Panda wanted us to watch this. Panda the Gray. Panda the Gray, one of our valued members, been here for a few years. Panda the Gray said, I shot innocent citizens in hangar elevators. Now, we talked about this last week on the introduction of the news that you would be able to safeguard your hangers from marauders. And I said, why don't they just assign or code in usernames with elevators so that nobody can get into your hangar instead of fighting people? You know, some people said, but DG, I thought you were all about the danger. And I am. I'm talking about for lawful spaces. Okay. For unlawful spaces, go at it. Right now. And that's because you have to make sure you have a balance so that the PVE players just don't get up and leave. We, de we do need asses and seats. We do need adoption for the game. So we do have to balance it so that both can have good times. This, uh, basically a video here showing Panda the Gray having what I would call fun okay like to me okay i just want to get that clear and out of the way but i understand some people think this is not fun and i get that panda being bad being a bad panda that's panda 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 this is this is panda's going crazy he's doing a little pacino here <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Oh, he's acting very nice. Elevator music on. Do, 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 Panda the Gray going into the elevator, being the giant, wonderful douchebag panda that he is. It be there for that. And just, just waiting for him. You know, just, you know, hey, how you doing? Uh, is your day going great? You know, the little chit chat sometimes that happens in elevators that I can't stand. Just be quiet in an elevator. It's like the bathroom rule. And there we go. And you're dead. You are dead. Okay. <laughs> shit, shit. So I see where this video is going and I'm going to stop it here because some people will get mad at this. I find this actually hilarious and other people really are going to get upset at me for, for thinking this is hilarious. So we'll stop it right there with the caveat of... <laughs> wondering if in fact there's going to be some type of changes in regards to what I had mentioned about, Hey, let's try and figure out how to code things so that maybe people don't have to deal with these type of things. Then I saw this and I wanted to show everybody this. So Wait, you can see here, you can see here that there is, and I don't know because, like I said, I have not hopped into the news patch yet, but this looks like maybe that is already remedied. I don't know. Chime in if this is not the case, but let's check here. This guy goes into the elevator that is literally assigned to, and you can read it here. The guy's name is Zendera, and it's on the button. His, his username is Zendera. Now let's see what happens when he hops into this dude's elevator. Wait. You this is Zendera. Area 18, and I just got on the elevator, and this is someone else's hangar. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get into other person's hangar, which is not in my party. I'm probably going to get kicked. Yes, I'll be. See, and that is exactly what I wanted to see in lawful areas. So, that, why am I, what is it? dimensional, three-dimensional? That is a really... Uh, offensive comment, and I do not get easily offensive, offended. Uh, three, three dimensional who I've never seen before until today comes in here uh, and says, uh, "For fuck's sake, DG, really, you are becoming soggy soft cereal." And I have to say, you best be careful. You are in my house. You are literally in my house, and I will put a foot up your ass very hard. And if you like it, that's your own thing. But that's where that foot is gonna go. And I have no idea what you are speaking of, good sir. But I will very much change my opinion to you being a bad sir, okay? Because there, no, there is no soggy cereal here, let me tell you that. We kicked right away. Okay, so good. That's a good test right there. And I'm not getting charged with a crime. I'm just getting kicked. Okay, so again, Area 18. This is extra large hangar. Let's compare it. 
<laughs> I okay, then that is understandable because you're probably of the pirate persuasion. I am a freelancer. Okay, I just want you to know that uh, I do enjoy those proclivities and those activities. I do want you to understand that three dimensional. So, like, just to appeal to your pirate side, I'm trying to get you to understand where I'm coming from on this. Uh, <laughs> Oh, this looks the same as that on Lorville. Okay. Southland. Yep, pretty much the same. Okay, so, so yellow line is... So anyway, it looks like they're already working on fixes for, like, people not being able to get into the hangars. I would only recommend for that to happen in lawful spaces. And then going into pyro, it should be, like, free game. And that's, again, to balance the security issues. Like, you know, like you want to make sure that if the system is secure, that there are security measures and in systems that are lawless, that they're lawless. So, you know, that this, <clears throat> this is really important in MMOs. You have to balance. In order to get, like, top adoption rates on a game, especially in an MMO, you have to make sure there is balance, Okay, so it looks like they're putting a little balance in uh, and making it safer. And then hopefully in Pyro, it, it's totally different, you know. So, you know, like, yeah, booby traps, the whole thing. Like, we're cool. Like, Pyro, anything and everything goes. And there should be fights and hangers. You know, that's what I want to see. I want to see people fighting everywhere you go in lawless space systems. So, very interesting. So, uh, again... Because I have not jumped into Star Citizen this week, I wanted to kind of catch up with my audience here. Um, I've had crazy things happen in real life, uh, so I've got a lot of things happening. and I haven't been able to play this week, and I'm, I'm, I really need to jump in. So interesting <clears throat> what we're seeing there. Cool. Uh, not quite sure if that's the new fix or if this is something that they're kind of massaging and working on. I'm not quite sure, but it looks like they're kind of trying to address the issues of what Panda was doing basically just going in and and, and Tony Tony Montoya and everybody <laughs> like wait, like you know <laughs> I could watch this video all day really but people would get upset probably here he goes I love how he just waits like this guy's looking around like huh I wonder if I should be worried probably not anything to worry about Right, look at this guy. Like, first off, first off, with these new changes and this new patch, would you ever be this guy? By the way, if you're watching DG360 and you are this guy, there's only one button I have for you right now. There's only one button. Shame. 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 Okay. If you if you are a DG360 viewer, if you are a DG360 fan or a member or a patron... I don't expect this to be you. Do you understand me? Do you understand me right now? Good. Because we have that highbrow audience. We have that higher level IQ audience. Our membership <clears throat> would not be standing like this in an elevator with somebody behind them after this patch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Panda is going ham. First off, there's so much lag there. There's no way Panda should have died in that confrontation. That was all lag. That was all server issues. So, Panda, I won't even count that as a death, Panda. So, first off, let's hear it for Panda. Let's hear it for Panda. <laughs> Panda the Great. Panda the Murdering. Panda the Great. You're a murdering panda. Who doesn't love murdering pandas?